Welcome guys to be Welcome back guys to the Sears. We're gonna peek in this door. Maybe that's a Sears card, I don't know. And now it's a BJ's card, I'm joking. So this is a very unique look in Sears. I don't other Sears like this before. That was our best look inside, guys. Typical Sears floor. I just love this, this this awning of Sears. I've never seen another Sears that's been like this. And you guys know on this channel, I've seen a lot of Searses. So, <laughs> both closed and abandoned and... It's probably where merchandise pickup would have been if I had to guess. Um... So yeah. Here we go. Cover more. Cover. <laughs> you guys see in there? Not really. I I, I just love this weird shaped awning. I think I'd be on Minneberg Heights, Ohio, just south of Cleveland. Except in a puddle. I already see the, 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 the label scar down here. So this one closed in 2016, so it's been closed now for five years or so. Which is sad. But yeah, guys, we are looking this. Sears Roebuck and Co. For a while, too. Even after the Sears closed, I can't remember how long, maybe like a year or two or three. Sears still did some stuff on the bottom of the floor up here, like some like online deliveries. That is now gone as far as I know. Probably wrong, but this part was gutter, whatever this was. There's the label scar. And then this paper's starting to come down, so we'll peek in there with a better look. Discover more at Sears.com. Well. Well, it look, well, uh, it look at what the scar warranty is. There's nothing in here for me to look at. Besides emptiness. Besides emptiness and sad. Sears.com. I wonder what that big abandoned thing is over there. I'm not going to go over there and check it out, because I just want to get home after this. But I knew this series was here, so I knew I had to stop and film this. Now that's the auto center over there. Although I'm not going to go over there because it looks like they're using it for something. So that's cool. But I will walk around here. That's a big Sears auto center too. I see little notes on here on the doors over here. Carvana. These doors are all boarded up. Looks like somebody tried to break in here. I love this. It's very unique for a Sears. Have have like this long, and that entrance too is pretty sweet. Kind of reminds me of a Sears you would see in like. The, like the old Sears is in like the south. Like in like California or Florida or something. Not up here in the north. Not up here. Not up north here where we are. But yeah guys, we are here at the old Sears. Sad the Sears isn't open anymore. I would totally shop if it was still open. I'll give you guys a video of the inside. You guys know that. But they have steady struck here too. Just 
discover more at Sears.com. Sears Rob. As you guys can see, there really didn't any label scars here. Just a typical old tired Sears. I cannot see in there that well. So I'm intrigued that they're using the Sears Auto Center. That's kind of interesting. And you can see it looks kind of busy. So that's unique. If, if, if I find the photos online when the Sears is open, I'll try to put it down in the comments or on my Facebook page. But we are. That would have been a point where that road was all blacked out and everything. Back out to the front side. Also, a Gabe's over there. It's in an old Ames. I did film a Gabe's today, not that one. But I did film one that was in an old, uh, I believe it was in an old Dick's Sporting Goods. Look at this little receiving dock. Wow. That's unique. And I don't think I've seen other Sears have an underground receiving dock. I doubt you can get down there, but we'll go check. That'd be cool if we get in the store through that. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. Right. Okay, the garage was closed. We ain't gonna get in there. But it's still unique for a Sears though. I've never seen another Sears that had that little underground thing. See, there's trash cans here. I'm not gonna go down there. I don't really feel like it. I noticed there was no road sign here either for Sears. Somebody's inside that old payless over there. Here we are back up front of the Sears. Now, I'm not sure this was one level or two level. If I had to guess this was two level by the way that building extends up, but I could be wrong. And generally we will get a pretty good shot inside from that one window over there. Got it's so hot out here that it's sweating into my eye they can't even see. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. See that clankiness, that's my sandals. Oh, yeah. Look at this good luck inside, guys. This is a big Sears, holy cow. Maybe this was only one level. Look at all that shattered glass in there. Because this looks awful big to be a two level store. Jesus loves you. <laughs> That's funny. Look at a lot of entrances, too. Sears and Roebuck. Let me see if we can peek in this door right here. I got a tendon or something like that. Yeah, because there's the gate that's the old Ames, by the way, right over there. We'll check this one door here and then we will call it quits. Discover more at Sears.com. That's sad. Seeing all these Sears that closed is sad. That's what that's, this is a monster in Sears. Another well, one of... I, I, I would have loved... This would have been a cool story to see. At least see inside. Maybe not, maybe not film, but at least see inside and get some pictures.
Yeah, guys, there's a look. I'll show you guys one more look, too, because it's kind of hard to see, but I'm pretty sure there's a Sears logo, like, right up there. Right there, you guys. Not sure you guys can see or not, but that said Sears. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up on new channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. Live from the old Sears at Middleburg Heights, Ohio. Alex Mine Sherman out. Alright, we'll see you guys real soon. Bye, guys.